Hi, I'm Nick from Printerbase, and today we're taking a look at Brother's new Colour Laser Multifunction range. We have both ends of the range to show you today, which are the DCP 9055 CDN and the MFC 9970 CDW. I just want to spend a couple of minutes talking through some of the major differences. The first thing you'll notice is that the higher spec 9970 machine has a longer glass platen which will accommodate all standard European sizes including A4 plus the longer North American legal size. The automatic document feeder on several of the Brother multifunction range will single side scan, copy and fax. However what I'm particularly impressed with is how Brother have implemented double side scan, copy and fax on their higher end machines including the MSC 9970. Instead of the typical reversing ADF system, which simply scans one side, takes the paper back in, turns it round, scans the other side and spits the paper out, the Brother machine has a twin scanner, so the paper goes through once and has both sides scanned simultaneously. This means less chance of paper jams, quicker scan speeds and reduced noise. Now looking at the front of the machine once more, you'll notice that this machine has a colour touchscreen interface, whereas the majority of the Brother range go with the standard mono LCD display. Some of the models have a USB pen drive, whereas others don't. This feature is important if you wish to scan to USB or print from USB. So I'd like to now show you around each machine. So on the front you have a 50 sheet multi-purpose feeder on both machines and underneath the 250 sheet paper tray. You can add an additional 500 sheet tray underneath if you wish. To the right of both machines you have the power switch and then looking at the back of both machines you'll find the power connector USB and network connector. That's the same on the 9055 machine. But on the 9970 you also have the fax connections. Don't forget as well the 9970 is Wi-Fi but it's built in and there's no external aerials. And then to the left of both machines you'll find a little door. When you open the door there's another door, which is a metal door. This clips off and then you can add extra memory if you wish. And that's it. OK, now for the bit that I really like to do, which is take the machines apart. They're both exactly the same, but we're going to have a look at the 9970 machine. So when you pull down the front of the machine, and then pull this little lever, you get access to the four toner cartridges. So, to show you how to take one out, very, very simple. That's the black. Just as simple. They're all the same. So, you can get your new yellow toner and slot it in with not much difficulty at all. To replace the drum assembly, you just flick the switch and the whole assembly pulls out like that. You put the old drum assembly down, you get the new drum assembly out of the box, slot it in and then transfer the toners out of the old one and into the new one. So again, very, very simple. If you need to change the transfer unit, that's extremely easy to do as well. And if you need to get hold of the waste toner box, That's also very easy to get to. So this comes empty, you throw it away when it's full, you get the new one out and you slot it in like so. These wear out eventually, so again, to slot the new one in is very easy. And the drum assembly goes in like so. Right, the first thing we're going to have a look at is how to copy on both machines. So I've got a printout here and the problem with this printout is that it's double sided. So the DCP 9055 CDN machine can scan a single side. So if the back of the sheet that you want to copy 
isn't important, then the 1955 will be perfect. However, if the back of the sheet is important, the 1955 has no way of scanning the other side of the sheet. Now that's where the 9970 comes in. So what we do with the 9970 is put the sheets in the automatic document feeder, like that, and I'm going to ask it to do two to two duplex. Very, very easy to do on this touchscreen display. I'm going to tell it that I just want one copy. And here we go. So you'll see that it takes the sheet through and the sheet comes out. Now it's actually scanned both sides of that sheet of paper because it has, don't forget, a dual scanner. There's the first double-sided photocopy, the second double-sided copy, the third, and finally the fourth. And that was very, very easy to do on this machine. I'm now going to show you how easy it is to scan four double-sided pages onto a USB pen drive. Now as we know the DCP 9055 CDN doesn't have duplex scan so first of all it won't be able to do this. Secondly it doesn't have a USB slot on the front because it doesn't do scan to USB. However the MFC 9970 CDW has the slot on the front and has the duplex ADF on the top. Now I've only done this a couple of times and I already know this machine inside out. It really is very simple to use. The touchscreen display makes life a real doddle. Scan to USB, turn on duplex scan, file type PDF, perfect. The quality is just standard quality which I'm happy with. That's two sides scanned. That's eight sides scanned within seconds. All done. So now the big test, let's see if it's on the pen drive. Here we go. And there we have it, eight pages. Okay, the last thing we're gonna have a look at is the machine printing from the computer. The 9970 machine quotes 28 pages a minute, whereas the 9055 quotes 24. So we're gonna have a look at the 28 page a minute printer. I've got a colored document, which I've sent to the printer to print five times single-sided. And then I'm going to print five double-sided pages out in the highest resolution possible. So let's try it now. Okay. This shows you the wait time as well that you can expect when the machine isn't prepared to print. So it gives you a real idea of what to expect. Okay, so that's the five single-sided pages. Okay, now this is the first 
of the double-sided page document that I'd sent to print. If you want to have a look at these print samples, then get in touch with us and we can send them to you. That is not a problem at all. If you have your own samples you'd like printed, then also get in touch with us. We'll do it on one of these machines and post them to you. There you have the last page printed. If you would like any further information, then please get in touch on our free phone number 0800 170 7234 or visit the website www.printerbase.co.uk. I'm Nick and thanks for watching.